Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited for today's video because I'm gonna be trying a bunch of drugstore makeup products. So these are products that I've seen on TikTok, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube. And I haven't seen what they look like actually on the skin, but I've seen like videos of people recommending these products. So I wanted to put them to the test and see how they look on my skin. So first of all, I have more normal to dry skin and I bought all of these products. It's more of a dewy look I'm trying to go for, but I kind of just like picked up things that I found and like have seen been recommended before. And I have them all in this bag right here. And I went to Walmart, got them, and it was pretty cheap. I forgot the price, but I'm just going to be listing off the price of like each product in this video. So you guys can get like a reference for how cheap everything is. But before we get into this video, I'd really appreciate if you guys hit that big red subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up because it'll really help me out. But without further ado, let's go ahead and try out these products. Alright, so I tried to get a closer angle of my face and I really hope the lighting is going to be okay for this. But we're going to first start out with putting on my little headband from Ulta just to like get my hair out of my face. Keep in mind I specifically picked out products that I have not tried before just so I can get like my first impressions raw and real. So let's get going. So the primer that I picked out for today is the Maybelline Master Prime by Face Studio. This is the blur and pore minimize and it's supposed to make your skin look like super smooth. So we will see how this looks. Honestly, I do not use primer at all in my face makeup routine just because I feel like I just don't need it and it's like an extra step I don't want to be doing. But it looks like this, um, just like a kind of gel consistency. And, oh wow, okay. I actually really like how this like applies. Oh my god. Okay, so that made my skin feel super smooth. Like... I've never actually tried out a really good primer, so I don't really know what to compare it to. But this made my skin feel almost fake in a good way, I guess. And it's like, it made my skin super evened out. Like, I don't have any, like, super bad skin imperfections. I would like to think that my skin is pretty even in itself, but I do have a little bit of texture on my pores right here. So that's what I was kind of hoping it would, like, get rid of, and it did. I'll probably just be listing the prices in the video somewhere just so I don't have to keep going back and looking but yeah overall I'm super happy with that um I'm really impressed I don't know why I keep touching my face all right next up I have the wet n wild tinted hydrator and I honestly don't know about wet n wild to be honest I've heard good things I've heard bad things and I heard that this like tinted like foundation or moisturizer I guess is really good and I don't use foundation in general just because I just don't like the way it makes my skin look. It's a super, like, um, thin consistency. This is kind of what it looks like. But I don't know how to apply this. I guess I'm just going to do it with my finger. Um, okay. I don't know if I like this. I think I might have used too much. But I guess we'll figure that out. Okay, yeah, I definitely used too much. See, I don't know if I like it or not. One thing I wanted to say is that this is a more, like, full coverage tinted moisturizer i have tried like one out before i think that was the glossier one and it was like not this full coverage and i don't think i like that it did make my skin a lot more evened out it gave it just like one solid color and obviously we're gonna like bring that back to life later with like contour and blush and stuff i am getting like a little bit of like separation around this region of my face i don't know if that's because of the primer uh, or because of just the moisturizer itself but we're gonna move on i'm gonna stop blending it because i feel like it's making it worse and we're gonna move on to the next bear with me concealer serum so i've heard really really good things about this concealer as you guys know or if you don't know i'm obsessed with concealer it's actually one of my favorite makeup products i guess i love buying new concealers and i don't really know what the coverage is like on this so i don't know what to expect I'm guessing like a medium coverage, but we're just gonna like put a little bit on my hand right here. Hopefully I got the right shade. And I guess I'm just gonna apply it with my finger. So, so far I really like it. I don't really have any complaints with this as for right now. Let's see how it blends out. So I feel like it blended out pretty well. I'm looking kind of close up to my skin right now 
and on my under eyes it looks fine I don't think it's my favorite concealer but for the price it was I think it's pretty good I do still think I prefer the elf camo concealer over this one though but this one actually isn't that bad so yeah I believe the coverage is like medium because I still see like some of my dark under eyes kind of seeping through the concealer a little bit and I don't really have the worst dark under eye circles, but you can still kind of see them kind of coming through a little bit. Now we're going to go on to powder. I got the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Clarifying Finishing Powder, and I really hope I like this. I saw a TikTok about it, and they said that this is like the best powder ever, and I think this was like $3 if I'm correct but yeah if this is actually pretty good i'll be so happy with this because i've been trying to find like a really good powder for cheap i'm just gonna take like a little brush and just like put it into the powder and we're gonna go underneath the eyes and this is like supposed to blur your skin so i will be the judge of that i think it did a pretty good job of like blurring it out so i'm really happy with that it's a super simple like blurring powder and i feel like you know there's not really much I can say, but so far I really like it. I feel like it's doing what it needs to do. I do prefer the Maybelline Fit Me powder though, just because I just prefer how it looks on my skin. I don't know if this is like anything to do with the other products I've applied. And then next for brows, I have the e.l.f. Brow Lift in Claire. I know everyone loves this, but I kind of bought it just because I wanted to see for myself if it's like good. So yeah, I actually do want to see how this looks on me. It looks great on everyone else, but... For me, I feel like I need like a darker brow look, but we'll see. We'll see how this looks. But yeah, I've just seen people kind of like dip the brush into it like that. So this is really good for like the soap brow look. I thought the soap brow was like a trend a few years ago, but I guess it's coming back. I feel like it's doing a good job. I feel like my brows are definitely in place and I like the control I have over it. So one thing about my eyebrows is that they're super uneven, I think, and obviously with my brow pencil that I use, I can kind of, you know, make it work, but this, I feel like it's just not good for my uneven eyebrows. But I do like it, honestly. I'm not upset with it. I definitely wish that I got, like, something tinted so I can put on my eyebrows, because I kind of hate how gray my eyebrows are, but, you know, we're gonna work past it. All right, so next up, we are gonna do contour, and the contour that I got is actually not a contour. It is a concealer, and this is the Fit Me, Maybelline Fit Me Shine Free Balance Fond de Tint. Is that even in a different language, or is that, like, supposed to be that? Okay, it's basically this, and it looks like a contour stick, so I just got the shade Coconut, and we're gonna just apply it. I'm really bad at applying contour, but, okay, so, yeah. We have that. Now I'm kind of scared. I just know you have to blend up. I don't know if I'm doing this bad. I feel like I am. Ignore my contour technique, by the way. I really look like I don't know what I'm doing, and that's because I don't. Like I said, I don't apply contour that much, but I do have an idea of what a good contour is supposed to feel like on the skin and look like in the end. Okay, it's super pigmented, and I'm like dyeing my hair right now but that will go away. So I did a little bit of playing around with it and this is kind of the best I'm gonna get it. Yeah, I honestly really like how it made my skin look and I feel like this is like the perfect like warm tone shade. But yeah, this is what the skin looks like right now. I kind of like it to be honest. I'm not disappointed with it. Yes, I am still seeing a little bit of separation right here, but I feel like that just comes with learning what products mix well together. And then for blush, I picked out the e.l.f. Putty Blush in Bora Bora. This looks so pretty. I'm such a huge blush fan. I absolutely, I cave anytime I see a pretty blush. I have like a huge blush collection. And I picked out this super pink color. I'm gonna try it with my Eco Tools brush. So far, I really like it. I don't really know what differentiates a good cream blush from a bad one, but every single cream blush I've tried, I've really liked. But yeah, this is the base of my skin so far. Since I don't really do like crazy full coverage makeup looks that often, I feel like this like really makes a change and I feel like it's really cute. Next, I wanted to do some eyeshadow. I don't apply eyeshadow all the time, but if I do, these are always the colors that I typically go for, and this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon 
eyeshadow palette and I feel like this is definitely like portable so you can like take it everywhere you go and it's not like a huge makeup palette so I'm just gonna grab a little like fluffy brush and just apply it unfortunately there aren't any like transition shades I think that's what it's called like the really pale shades so I guess we're just gonna go in with this like orange shade and kind of go around the lid pigment is honestly not that bad it's not gonna be terrific because it's not like a morphe palette but for a wet and wild palette for this cheap I honestly think the pigment isn't terrible there isn't a lot of fallout either which is definitely something that you have to pay attention to when you buy like a cheaper eyeshadow palette because fallout is just not cute and who wants to deal with that so this is what we have so far I do have like a scar right here so that's what that like line is if you guys even notice it but yeah I honestly I'm really happy with this and we're gonna apply a little like glittery shade I think I'm just gonna do this like gold shade right here and just put a little bit on my finger and put it in the inner corner that isn't that pigmented I feel like the metallic shades in this palette definitely need a little work but I mean how much can you really complain for an eyeshadow palette this cheap but yeah this is the finished eye look I feel like it looks fine in my mirror but I don't know how it looks on camera yet so let's hope it still looks cute and then one of the final products I wanted to try out is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise I've heard amazing things about this mascara and I've never tried it and for me I have really small eyelashes so whatever will make them look voluminous and long sign me up because that's definitely what a girl needs okay so the wand is super basic uh i i really do prefer like the thinner wands just because i feel like it's easier to apply but you know don't judge a mascara by its wand and we're gonna curl my eyelashes first just so we can get like the full result okay we're gonna curl one and then i'm gonna put it on one of the eyes just so you guys can get kind of a comparison this is one coat I kind of like it so far. We're gonna apply another layer just so we can get the full effect. So my honest opinion, I've just found out what it is right now. It is okay. It is a decent mascara. It is definitely not the best mascara I've ever tried. Will I use this because I bought it? Yes, but will I happily use it? I don't know, I don't think so. It definitely makes my eyelashes droop and I don't like that. Other mascaras that I've tried by Essence or even Benefit have made my eyelashes kind of stay up the whole day and I feel like if my eyelashes are already falling right now, that's not good. And I also use a really good curling eyelash curler just because I like to get the full effect out of my small eyelashes. I guess we'll put it on the other eye just for this video because we don't want to have one eye look good and the other one look kind of terrible. All right, so this is what the mascara ended up looking like after it dried and I feel like it reminds me of any other basic mascara that I've ever tried. It's nothing special, but now I wanted to move on to the Wet n Wild highlighting powder and I feel like this kind of reminds me of the Master Chrome highlighter that I've tried before and I don't really use highlighter as much as I want to just because I feel like no one uses highlighter anymore and if people do it's like a cream based kind of highlight i do think i prefer powder highlighter than cream just because it's just a better finishing touch and i usually apply highlighter with my finger anyways and i feel like the pigment is not there but let's see how it looks on the face this is what the palette looks like and we're just gonna apply a little bit to the side okay yeah this is definitely a no it's definitely a subtle highlight so if you're more into like a glow rather than a shine i feel like this would be cute but i definitely would never ever choose this over any other highlight but i'm not a fan i don't like it so nothing really much i can say about that and the final thing that i bought is the milani blueberry acai lip balm this just looked really good i don't think i've ever seen anyone recommend it before but it looked really cute, so I wanted to try it out. Oh wait, I actually really like that. So this is what it ended up looking like on the lips. It is a really subtle purple tint, and I really like that. It had, And it doesn't feel super sticky, so your lips don't stick together, which is really, really good. I hate lip glosses like that, and I feel like it wouldn't like stick in your hair like crazy. Alright, so this is the finished makeup look. I'm gonna do a little close-up. 
let me just say I said it before and that is that there is a little bit of separation. I'm getting separation here. I'm getting separation here. That's about it. I don't know if it's from this primer, but I honestly feel like it is from this tinted moisturizer. I feel like overall my favorite product that I tried is the primer and then definitely the Maybelline Fit Me contour even though it's concealer I believe and also the putty blush from elf. This was so cute. I love how it applied on my skin All right, you guys I really hope that you all enjoyed this video And if you did please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and of course subscribe to my youtube channel because that'll really help me out But yeah, I really enjoyed making this video It was super fun to try out new makeup products that I haven't tried before But yeah, if you guys want me to make another one of these videos Please make sure to let me know in the comments down below and I will do so But yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I hope to see you all in my next video Bye!